Now we've got our whole uh, paths and boundaries in, it's time to mark in where the textures are going to go. Now it's really up to you how much uh, you mark in at the start. You may want to mark in every single bunker, stream, lake, forest area, etc. From, from the start, if you know uh, what you want, fine. I tend to just put the minimum in at the start, which is a T, a fairway, and a green. And then I can test just those elements in links. And then by just playing, I come up with ideas of where I want bunkers, where I think it would be nice to have water, forests, etc. Uh, so it's really up to you which way you do it, but I'm going to show uh, obviously my way for these tutorials. So I'm just going to mark in the T, the fairway and the green. Now we've already seen how to do that using shapes. So all I have to do, if I zoom in here, I want to put in first a T, so I'm going to go to plan create shape. Again, as I said before, you can select any of these uh, to put the areas in. Uh, because we're not inserting them, it doesn't matter if I use T or sand to mark out the T. I'd really just use one that's a colour uh, that looks okay. Uh, I'm going to use proper T area for now. If I didn't like that colour, what I could do is go adjust and select that shape and I could swap it so if I change it to ocean and come out you'll see it's now become an almost invisible blue grey colour uh, which is obviously one to never pick because you can barely see it there it is uh, it might show up on some other colored textures but I really can't see that at all so I'll just undo that and undo again and undo again so that it's back as it was so I've marked out my T I'll mark out where I want my green to be my rough shape so again create shape The green is really nice, bright green, so that'll be fine. So I'll just draw a green shape. And the fairway. Now, the problem with drawing the fairway is to see the whole shape. Uh, at once, if I'm using freehand, uh, I need to be able to see from start to finish where I'm drawing, which means I've got to draw at a very uh, high altitude um, to get everything in view where I want it. It's not quite so bad when you're using the point-to-point -point method because you can click your mouse and scroll the screen and then carry on, uh, but I've not found a way to do that with a freehand, so um, I'm going to zoom out. And I'm just going to draw in the fairway around the green. You see the mess I'm making? It's going all over. Right, that will do for now. It doesn't have to be super accurate. It's only going to be a template that we're. Uh, tracing round so you don't have to trace round the mistakes so if it suddenly zigzags out when we're plotting it in we just won't go around that part so there's our fairway uh, there's a T and there's our green once we've got that marked out we can get rid of our original face markers so I'll go terrain the drag select, I'll select 
that fairway texture I put in and I'll put it back to the original rough which is the first texture after none. Turn it back to nothing and the same with where the green is I can now turn that back rough and select. So we've got our hole marked out. I'll just do the second hole again find where the T is going plan select a T area it's on freehand so we just draw it in find the green green texture, so maybe have more of an elongated green for this one, and I'm not sure I'm even going to have much of a farewell, have a little bit of a fairway, uh, so I'll go to fairway, Just draw a fairway shape there. I've actually drawn that one, that fairway shape in, in green colour, but it doesn't matter, as I say. We know it's a fairway, so. Terrain. I'll select that. Turn it back to rough. Select sand and turn it back to rough. Actually with the hole 2, my, my viewing uh, thing across, you can see it's in a bit of a plateau here. I'm going to stick a bit of water around there I think, make it more of an interesting hole. What I could do for now, uh, if I don't want to draw a shape round, which is what I quite often do if I'm dealing with large water areas, I'll just use the triangles for now and mark out roughly where I think the lake's going to go. And turn it to water. Um, that's good enough for testing purposes. And we can look at it and think maybe I'd like to bring it round, right round the back more, and make the hole trickier. So I could just extend the lake maybe there. This is the fun part, just coming up with ideas and playing around. It's brilliant fun. Uh, using your imagination to create. That's quite nice. I like the look of that. Again, I might make it an even harder hole by pulling the lake in. A couple, a couple of triangles along here. Let's see what it looks like. At the moment it's obviously not flat water, but that doesn't matter for testing. Um, we can soon flatten it all out. So yeah, we've got our hole. It's quite nice.